Hello everybody and welcome back to Sable, my little side experiment that I'm doing. Um, today I'm actually finally planning on heading out and I'm going to be visiting Petrified Forest Na National Park in Arizona and hopefully Meteor Crater close by. So I'm excited, but I did now, now I've got a little bit of the bug back where I want to play a little bit more of the game before I head out. So. Um, also, I just wanted to say, I'm not sure how many episodes will come out past these, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, just because, you know, I may be out in the middle of nowhere without much, much chance to record, but I will, I will do my best without being too stressed about it, you know what I mean? So, anyway, this next area looks much bigger. And I have a few things marked. I got, yeah, I checked that. I'm good to go. Now I'm like, oh, what's my goal? But like my goal is to just like get masks. Like there's nowhere in particular for me to go. It's kind of liberating. Hey, look at that. <laughs> good thing I walked this way. Uh, I wasn't trying to, but here we go. Oh my gosh, I think I just went into the wall. I was trying to get out, but here I am finding secrets without even meaning to. Where is... nope. I keep pressing tab in uh, Origins. You can press tab. Like Dragon Age Origins. You can press tab to like sort of see what's highlighted around you. So I keep trying to press that to see my little compass stuff. Oh yeah, I put my <laughs> my poor Siyun. Put poor Siyun in the in the alley. <laughs> Okay, get out. Oh, I'm excited. Here I am exploring this in the game, and I'm gonna go explore somewhere kind of similar looking, honestly, <laughs> in the real world. Uh, let's see, where did I put... Nope, I pressed tab again. Okay. Uh, the closer thing is this yellow one. Let's go to the yellow one. <laughs> Oh shoot! Is this yeah, these are solid objects. That's gonna be a pain. At one point I'm gonna try to do a barrel roll if I get off high enough. I think I can do it, but that particular it was like a particular plant? Oh maybe this isn't this is actually bone, okay. Nice, like it, but there is a particular plant, it's that gray plant that I keep thinking is like machine parts. This is awesome. This reminds <laughs> excuse me, it reminds me of um, Joshua Tree National Park. I mean, there was Joshua trees, not just giant cactus. This probably looks more like Saguaro National Park, and if you gotta pick one that it looks like, but hmm. oh, did I? Is whatever I was looking at just like a natural? Maybe it was just a natural rock formation. Okay. Well, no harm in seeing what's out here. I'm assuming it's not gonna let me go any further, but maybe it will. Is that water? Can I can I go over water, or is that? Oh, this is like a salt field, maybe. Okay, this is like a salt field, and I am in a new area. Okay, I wasn't sure if they were all going to be like kind of self-contained. This is a new area. Off we go. I don't. I have no particular order in which I'm trying to do things. So this is like a salt flat. And this is a natural formation, I think, but I still want to go look at it. You see stuff like that, you always want to go towards it. If you're ever in, I think, New Mexico, I'm pretty sure it's in New Mexico. Uh, it's called Shiprock. 
uh, it's a town, it's on the Navajo reservation, but there's an actual, there's a town called Shiprock, but there's an actual rock formation called Shiprock. And it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's considered sacred, potentially just, um, like, important to a lot of local tribes, but I think it has some sort of sacred, like, stories and stuff associated with it. Um, but anyway, it's, it's this giant formation, like, kind of like this, where it's just, there's a very thin, for a rock, very thin rock formation that is incredibly tall and long, and it juts out like the prow of a ship coming up out of the sand, you know? Uh, it's really, it's really amazing. I haven't gone over to it. I need to look it up and see if you're actually able to go close to it or not, if there's like hikes and stuff nearby. Because that would be really cool to just go see up close. It's really cool even just from afar. Is this a city? Listen here, I wanna, I wanna hop in there. I feel like I'm missing out on things. Is this like, uh, I am curious, because these lit up when I went through them before. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it does anything, but... But I want to make them light up, but also I want to go see what this is. I'm kind of like... I don't know if lonely is the right word, but I know that I'm pretty sure there are other people you can meet out here. That's right. What did... Jetty, she said there was something. The machinist at the Burnt Oak Station. Well, that's nice. I have no idea where that is, so. And I don't think. Uh, I don't know how to scroll out. I don't think I can scroll out any further. I don't see any way to, like, uh, what are you... Could I? Okay. Will that make it? Okay. Okay. Sweet. Okay. So that will give me the direction to go. All right. I'll go there eventually. <laughs> it would be nice to have a good, you know, a starting point, but I'm going my own way for a bit. Geyser Tower. Is that a person? Did I just see a person? No, but I did see... <laughs> a shy pulp. Okay. I just stole from you, I think, but it's a person. Oh, your mask is awesome. The hunter. Okay. Before I greet them, the hunter is making some breathy noises, loud exhales through near pursed lips and small effortful oofs. They run their hand along the back of their skull and stare upwards and away for short moments before turning back in my direction with a shake of their head. It isn't how I'm used to seeing hunters whom I've come to associate with perfect calm. Glider! I can tell they are trying to infuse some calm into their voice, but it doesn't work. Can you help me? My name is Zevi. I've been out here for a while now, and my partner, Dilan, traveling partner, I should say, got it in his head to climb up there after some bird eggs. Is that a problem? For Dilhan? No. For Dilhan, it's probably an absolute joy poking about for bird leavings, but it's a big problem for me. I decide not to suggest the eggs aren't really leavings. Zebby huffs. I'm not happy to admit this, but I'm not too fond of heights. Some would say I'm a little afraid of them, or a lot. If you could get up there and grab Dilhan for me and tell him I'm going to kill him when he gets down here, that would be really helpful. <laughs> I tell Zebby that I'm happy to do most of that and take on the task. I say goodbye to Zebby. Goodbye, Zebby. Up where? By the way. And they're like, up there. And my character's like, yeah, totally. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> what? Hang on, first I have to make sure there aren't any more. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm rich, Grandma. I 
will spend it wisely and then a little unwisely whenever the time is right. I tried to press control, that's how much I play Overwatch. For me, anyway. I don't know, for some people it's probably different, but for me, control is crouch. Nope, see, I did it again. Did it again. Well, um, again, I'm not sure where up is, but. I mean, obviously. <laughs> obviously, I don't know. But, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Eat, no, oh, no. Ugh. There we go. Okay. No, that's not, I was gonna try to climb up, but that's okay. Hmm. I could get into here. I can poke. Nope. <gasps> Eel. One of these days, someone's gonna be really excited when I show up with like 800 of these. I have, like I mentioned before, I've been playing uh, Breath of the Wild a little bit on my sister's Switch. And, uh,. Um, this just kind of, it kind of reminds me of the Koroks. Oh, come on. Hop out. I have no idea what these are useful for, but seeing as how I can't pick up a ton of stuff, I'll pick up the things I can. Holy cow! There's like a, a was it like a like a scrapyard, like a starship scrapyard over there. I can't tell if this is just supposed to be like smoke from up top, or if it's supposed to be coming through the rocks like it is. Hmm. I can always put on my climbing shirt too. Okay, I saw the that it would that it would turn off and on. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can use it to float. And I can indeed. Uh 
I don't even have to glide. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh my gosh, that was close. Well, here's a nest. But where's a person? Oh, there's a person, I think. I think that's a person. But I'm all the way up here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. You go up way high. Look at that. Dang. There's nothing up here. Oh, hey. There's something way over there. Somebody? Anyway, there's definitely a fire there, so I'm definitely gonna go over there. <laughs> but now I'm up here. Now I can wander around high up in the sky. Climber, Dylan. Hello there, glider. What a view, eh? Dylan looks perfectly content, even happy, taking in the scenery alone. I gaze briefly out at the horizon. It is a nice view. Quite a nice spot. <laughs> he nods appreciatively. More than nice. Stunning. I can. I tell Dylan that I've been sent by Zebby to encourage him to come back down and continue their journey together from a less frightening height. Dylan shakes his head. Zebby, what a killjoy. Here, have a look at this and tell me if you'd come down. Look at that beautiful beast. I can barely see it. It's called a pink neck. Ever heard of them? Native to the Sodic Waste. People say they're direct descendants of the creatures that came in on the whale. Ooh, we got some world building. That one's got a whole clutch of eggs ripe for the taking. Dylan nods his resolve. I just need to figure out how to get them. I hope you wouldn't eat them. How does one do that? I might. I ask how one might acquire such eggs beyond just a climb. I've been thinking the best way is to probably to frighten the mother off with something shiny and then get the eggs once she's gone. You're collecting masks, right? If you've got anything shiny and metallic, that might do the trick. I tell him I'll think on this and try to be of assistance. He thanks me and returns to his bird watching. I say goodbye to Dylan. Shiny masks. I don't think I have any shiny masks. Like my, the only other mask I have is that one. <laughs> what is she doing? Uh, and it looks like it's made out of either bone or plastic. I probably need like a machinist mask or something. Um, so that maybe is something I need to come back to. Okay, good to know. And I might be making this up, but if I could get into there, there might be something. Oh, and there's a balloon person, I think. Hold on. Um. Yes. Balloon person. Okay. Now I need to go back down to my little my little guy. I would go up there, but I just I now that I know how to get up. It's good to know, but I, there's no point in me going up right now because I don't have anything shiny. And what kind of bird is afraid of shiny things, hmm? Usually they're like, ooh, we love shiny things. Oh. Well, I'm definitely changing out of my climbing gear because... This is not sufficient for wandering the desert without getting sunburned. I could probably float into that from up here. Okay, oh gee, I don't know why you're popping that up on my screen right now, but okay. <laughs> You just take off without your bike. What a move.
Sorry if there's any sort of screen staring or tearing or stuttering. Apparently my laptop wasn't plugged in and it was trying to do all of this. 60 frame per second recording, 1080p, and it was like, bleh, it lasted like 20 minutes. <laughs> I do not have a great battery life on this thing, but I didn't, I, you know, I knew that going into it. Okay, I feel like my other machine was way better at, like, going up these... These edges. The... Sand cutter. Like, I could kind of force it up some of those... Ridges. something over there. I can't look up all the way, but look at my person. I think this is where the balloon is. I guess I could just... Yeah, I think it's back there. like to think I can get in through here. Oh my gosh, it's an eel. Okay. Looks like I might have to go in through here. It is so, the wind is so loud. Like it makes sense it's not just like going over the sand, it's like going through some of these old fans and ventilation things.
So it looks like the recording went down to 30 frames because of the probably because of the laptop uh, issue. But I right under me is a is an eel that I would like to mark. I don't know if I actually placed it, but. But I, since I'm up here, I don't want to drop down for it right now. But yeah, I will hopefully have the 30 frames back <laughs> for you guys here soon on the next part. curious if every group does a gliding. It kind of seems like they do. Another eel. Because they all seem to know what it is, but I was kind of curious if they, um... No, it makes, I think it makes more sense if they all do it. Oh no, is this going to be weird? It wouldn't make sense for one group to do it necessarily and then like you know because then it would I think eventually get very small <laughs> become very small if it was the only one that was sort of splitting itself up into other groups too so There's the balloon. Over there. I did it! <laughs> I greet the cartographer. Surprised you didn't hurt yourself getting all the way up here. Guess you're stronger than you look. <laughs> what do you mean? That's right. <laughs> I'm very strong. I tell the cartographer they got it right. I'm tremendously strong, just hugely. They nod like I'm the odd one. Right, so what do you want? Uh, I want a map. Um, anything nearby worth a look? 
The answer, with a measurable amount of exasperation, practically snorting into their resp Oh, they answer with the end, with practically snorting. While well, you're in the middle of the shipyard, if that wasn't obvious, there are geyser rocks nearby. Just don't get too close. The salt pools to the northeast are home to some decent folk. Go visit them if you like. Right, so what do you want? What other regions are we near? Not much around, that's why it's called the Waste. Head west to the Red Sea, or southeast to Sand Sea. That's where I was. So, northeast of here is some people I could talk to. Oh. Sure. I think badges are stuff I'm gonna probably need to trade for ma or for masks, maybe? Sweet. Trying to get out. Okay, thank you. The other cartographer didn't give me a map that I, or a map, a, what you call it? <laughs> a, oh my gosh, what is it? I just, <laughs> badge, a <laughs> badge. A cartographer's life would be pretty sweet, honestly. Yeah, we have hunters, cartographers, machinists, nomads. The nomad life wouldn't be bad either. Oh, map northeast of here. There's some... I think I... Did I run through some of these pools? I at least saw them. And the salt pools to the northeast. A little east more than northeast, but it's all good. But awesome. I could probably float down to whatever is going on over there. I thought I saw like a town, yeah, under those birds, but I think I will go ahead and call it here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I realized I was a little quieter in this one, but I hope you're just kind of enjoying the vibe. Um, there are days where I can't stop talking, and then there are days where I'm just chilling. So, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And my other sapling tier patron, Adam. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you both a lot. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. Anyway, super appreciate. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much. <laughs> So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.